What's going on guys? It's your boy Peter and I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the basic tools you need as a new iron aircraft maintenance engineer apprentice. I'm making this video because I remember when I graduated school, right? I was just wasting a lot of money on tools I did not need and that is because there was not a lot of information online that actually educates apprentice on the basic tools you need in your first job so i'm going to share with you guys so you guys don't end up wasting a lot of money like i did when i was buying my first tools so i'm going to be showing you guys the most essential tools every aircraft maintenance engineer need to have and when it comes to buying of tools you guys don't need to go too crazy on tools as you can see most of the tools i actually have right here were bought from either canadian tires amazon or facebook market you don't gotta spend a lot of money on tools although some of the tools were a little bit expensive and i'll tell you guys my sp specific reason why i actually paid a lot of money for those specific tools but when it comes to the rest you don't have to spend that much money on tools your first tool is going to be your set of wrenches and this is a tool every apprentice is going to be using literally every day um, when it comes to buying your sets of wrenches, me personally, I got my from Canadian Tires. I believe I paid $20 for 11 sets of wrenches. Um, you don't have to buy Snap-on or Williams or Blueprint. Me personally, I got this from Canadian Tires and I've been using it for five years. And also, when it comes to the set of wrenches, you want to buy the ratchet ones and also the standard ones. And this is something you're going to be using every day as an apprentice but you don't gotta spend that much money on buying a lot of sets of wrenches the next tool is going to be your screwdriver and this is another tool you're going to be using daily as a apprentice and when it comes to buying your screwdriver me personally i always recommend you buying the ratchet screwdriver and that is because i personally find it more comfortable to use compared to the non-ratchet screwdriver and also you want to buy um, two sets the first one is going to be the stubby ones and which is a little bit shorter than this and the next one is going to be the long screwdriver and when it comes to screwdriver also you don't have to spend that much money on screwdrivers the next tool is going to be your ratchet and this is a tool you're going to be using every day as an apprentice me personally i kind of went a little bit expensive with my ratchet i got the snap-on which cost me over a hundred dollars um the reason why i got this um snap-on was because it felt way more different compared to every ratchet i have used personally but do you have to go expensive as an apprentice no there's a lot of good ratchet on amazon in canadian tires the next tool is going to be your nipex plier um, this is a tool that is not mandatory for every apprentice to get but me personally I always recommend you to get at least one of these and that is because an apex plier serves the same purpose as a wrench but the difference is it's adjustable so you can adjust your apex plier to different sizes and also one of the main, ad main advantages is just the, the grip the grip and nip expire will give you compared to a wrench is way more different. So for example, if you're working on a rusted bolt and you need that extra grip to like yank it out, man, trust me, nip expire will give you, will serve you way more better compared to a wrench. Um, this might be a little bit expensive. I believe one of those plier costs will, will cost you around $80. Or you can get the old set on Amazon or Canadian Tires. I believe it comes in three sets and it costs you like almost $230 before taxes. But trust me, if you get one of these, you're going to be using it for life. And it's, it's really, really, really helpful. So I definitely recommend you getting one of these. The next tool is your set of picks. Um, this is another tool that is not mandatory to get, but it's really, really, really useful. 
and it's not expensive too i think i got my set of picks for i think 15 dollars and this is a tool that you don't use every day but when you need them it's really useful and you can use it for your color pins um, a lot of purpose man so me personally i always recommend you getting the next one is your side cutter um, this is a tool that is definitely mandatory and this is something you're going to be using every day as an apprentice so you're going to be using side cutters for your cutter pins for your lock wire and me personally i always recommend either buying the nipex brand or the snap-on and that is because compared to all the side cutters i have used i personally i believe this nipex um side cutter is probably the best and that is because it's really good for any size of cutter pins um so it's a little bit expensive but trust me it's worth the money the next tool is your nose duct plier and this is another tool that i always recommend you getting uh, you can either get the long ones, the short ones, uh, I think they have the 90 degrees, the 180 degrees, 60, 60 degrees. I have everything and that is because sometimes, man, you never know what you're going to need, bro. So, and it's not expensive too. I believe I got mine from Canadian Tires. I got the whole set for, I think, $30. You don't have to go too expensive on your nose plier. So, you definitely need one of this. The next tool is your lock wire plier. Um, this is another tool that is mandatory for apprentice and that is because you're going to be using this every single day and you don't have to spend a lot of money on this. As you can see, mine is not in a good condition and I've been using this lock wire plier for five years now. I got it on Amazon. I believe I paid $20 so you don't have to spend that much money on your lock wire plier. The next tool is your set of adapter. Um, this is another mandatory tool that is really useful for apprentice and it comes, I always recommend you getting the whole set. You can get it from Canadian Tires. I believe I got mine from Canadian Tires. I probably paid like maybe $20 for my set of adapters and it's really useful and something you're gonna be using every day. You don't have to buy from Snap-on or any other expensive brand. The next one is your set of extensions. Um, same, I got mine from Canadian Tires. I think it came, the set of extension came with a set of adapter, if I believe. And I paid like $20 for all of them. So I always recommend you getting your tools from Canadian Tires, man. There's a lot of good tools from Canadian Tires. You don't have to be buying Snap-ons or Blueprints or the next tool is your set of socket this is another mandatory tools for aircraft methods engineer apprentice and this is something you're going to be using every single day me personally i always recommend you getting the 12 point socket and that is because you can use your 12 point socket for a six point bolt but you cannot use your six point socket for a 12 point bolt and I believe most of the nuts and bolts on an engine are probably 12 points. So you want to get one of these. Um, I believe I got mine from Amazon. It was not expensive. I think it was around $30. And you can get the deep sockets. You can get the shallow ones. Um, the next one is your Crawford. Um, this is another tool that is really, really useful. Um, I mostly use this for my hydraulic lines. And sometimes you might find yourself in a situation whereby the knot is probably in a really tight position and you cannot put your sockets on them. Um, this is a tool that is really, really helpful in that kind of situation. I always recommend you to get one. And it's not expensive too. I got mine from Amazon for, I believe, $12 literally twelve dollars man there's a lot of there's a lot of do good deals on amazon and you don't have to be buying snap-ons or all these expensive tools the next one is of course your hammer uh this is a tool you're gonna be using a lot especially for guys that are into structures i use this sometimes i always recommend you getting the mallet ones i forgot to bring this for this video but you can get the mallet ones and you can also get the regular hammer um, it's a tool that is really helpful 
you know sometimes you might be working on a really stubborn pain and you gotta knock that shit out so it's a really helpful tool man and the last one is of course your flashlight i believe this is a tool every aircraft maintenance engineer needs to have man luckily a lot of companies do actually offer these headlights for free i got my for free uh my company offered mine for free um but you can get them from amazon man there's a lot of good deals a lot of headlights on amazon man literally for 30 dollars you can get a really good headlights that will last you for five years so yeah those are the tools i always recommend every aircraft maintenance engineers to have hopefully you guys found this video really helpful man like i said my goal here is to educate you guys and also make you guys not spend a lot of money like i did man so if you guys found this video really helpful please do not forget to share and like man and then one of one of the things i want to say is i really appreciate you guys man we eat a thousand subscribers man i really really appreciate your support and if you find this video helpful man do not forget to like share and subscribe love you guys